Nara, my name's Andy Sue and I teach Bachelor Language in the Fraser Coast area. So there's our first one we can learn. Nara, your turn. Nara, well done. So after each one that I show you, I'm going to give you a little bit of time so that you can try the word yourself. So tonight, today we're talking about pollinators. Pollinators are important because they pollinate all our flowers that helps us get food. So the bachelor word for food is mudgeman. Mudgeman. Well done. The first bee we're going to look at is the European bee. So this is the one we're all used to seeing and it's the one that can sting us as well. The bachelor name is Gillawomba. Gillawomba. We're going to move on to our native bees now. Native bees are smaller and they are also stingless and they're very important to pollinate our native plants. So our first one is the yellow native bee and sometimes it's browny yellow, okay, and that is garbe. Garbe. Moving on now to the small black bee. Marby. Marby. Next we have the large native bee, still smaller than a European bee. And he is Moopy. Moopy. And the tiniest one is our Gunder. Gunder. There's other things we can get from our native bees as well. And one of those things is sugar bag, which is very similar to honey but it doesn't produce as much as a European's bee, bee's honey. And we call it gilla. Gilla. We also get beeswax from the native bees. And the beeswax is used in making tools. And it is killy. Killy. Our other pollinators are our birds. So birds are dippy, dippy. The one that pollinates the most is our rainbow lorikeet and that's purr, purr. We also have these beautiful little things that flutter around all our flowers and that's the butterfly or in bachelor bulimba bulimba something that comes out at night and, and helps pollinate is the flying fox or the bat and that's giraman giraman and what do they pollinate they pollinate all our beautiful nyara, nyara. One more thing is what we've learnt about today is the first bachelor law, which is what is good for the land must come first. Okay, so what is good for the land comes first. So when we are harvesting our honey or our sugar bag and our beeswax, our killy, we need to be very careful that we only take just what we need and no more so that our bees don't move away. Gallangor Yin, thank you for listening.